drones are very quickly becoming the dominant weapon on the battlefield and really kind of changing the cost curve in terms of what different forces are able to do asymmetrically on the battlefield. Uh, we need to be capable of employing those systems and understanding different ways of uh, attacking the enemy and also resupplying ourselves on the battlefield. I don't see any area that the Marine Corps touches that wouldn't benefit from some sort of robotic platform enhancing the capability of the warfighter, augmenting the capability of the warfighter, or replacing the warfighter in certain dangerous situations. What's not happening today is soldiers are not getting the most capable systems. So there's a variety of options that are out there, a variety of companies who are really pushing the envelope, but it takes a while for those systems to make their way into the hands of soldiers. When I talk to operational units of every service branch today, they don't have platforms in any sort of quantity that they need. They don't have platforms that are going to function in an electronic warfare environment. Drones have changed the way wars are fought today. And so what we're trying to do is help equip our soldiers, sailors, and Marines with the platforms that are going to allow them to train for, prepare, survive, and prevail in combat. That's our mission, and that's what we want to go do. If you are not training and thinking about how to employ and operate with drones today in the world we're in, you're failing. It is clear that at every level, from drones the size of my hand to drones that are big enough to pick me up and carry me somewhere to ones that can deliver kinetic performance or capabilities from 20 feet away to 20 miles away. They're changing the way wars are fought. It is up to us to shorten development cycles and to remove as many barriers to access as possible so that we can accelerate the exposure, familiarization, and adoption curve for these emerging capabilities it is clear in all current conflict and future conflict that robots are useful.